I'm gonna show you how to make your Football Manager game go from this to this. Today we're adding a face pack to Football Manager, which brings in real player faces to the game to add a little bit more immersion to your save files. So step one is to find a face pack that you like the look of. There are tons out there, and if you Google FM23 face pack, you'll get a load of results. Personally, I use the Cutout Player Faces Mega Pack from Sort Out SI. Some of these websites might want you to make an account in order to download the files, but once you've done that, just click Download Complete Pack and it will start downloading for you. As you can see, it's a really big download at 9.52 gigabytes, so I'm going to let you into a little secret. If you have downloaded a face pack in previous football managers and you don't mind not having the most up to date faces, you can just copy and paste your face pack from a previous FM game file. So for step number two, what we need to do is extract the files we have just downloaded. Once your download is complete, you'll find it in your file browser under downloads. Now, this mega pack contains tens of thousands of images in thousands of individual folders. Now, to stop you downloading each folder individually, what they've done is zip them all up into one folder, but you have to extract that to actually get some use out of it. You're going to need a third-party bit of software to extract all of these files, and I use WinRAR personally. It is a free download. It does say buy on the screen right there, but if you click download, uh, it will just take you through to a download page, and you can download it, and it works for free. Once you've got WinRAR installed, what we're going to do is right-click on this file here and click extract here. Click that and it's going to extract all of the files into your download folder. Now because this is a 9 gigabyte download it might take a little bit of time so I'll come back once this has finished. Okay so the download has completed and what we can now do is actually delete the zip file because we no longer need it so we can get rid of that and we're just left with the unzipped folder. We need to move this into the correct place for Football Manager to be able to read these files and I'm going to show you the default place where Football Manager is saved however it could be different for you depending on where you save your games but for me in into my documents, I go to Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2023, and we need to put this in a folder called Graphics. Now, as you can see, Graphics isn't there, so we're going to make a brand new folder called Graphics. So now it's been created, we can head into the Graphics folder and press Control X on this extracted file here and Control V to cut and paste it from your downloads and put it into this folder. So now all the folders are moved into the correct location. We're going to go into Football Manager and click on the FM icon in the top right hand corner. Go down to Preferences, and the first thing we're going to do is click on the Advanced button here, move down to Interface, and then tick this option here under Skin that says Reload Skin when confirming changes in Preferences. Then we're going to click this Reset button in the bottom left and click Clear Cache. If this pop-up menu comes up, just press Yes. Now what we're going to do is press Confirm. If we press confirm, that's going to reload the skin because we've already ticked that option. When we press confirm, it reloads the skin. So press that and the skin is reloading. The final thing to do is to check you are subscribed to the Tom FM channel. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you are. By the time you've done that, the skin will have been reloaded. And as you can see, we now have Martin Odegaard's beautiful face in the game. And it really is as simple as that. That's all you need to do to get faces in the game. But there are more things you can add to the game and these kits well, we're looking a little bit bland, aren't they? So I've got a video to get kits into the game right here for you guys to watch. So check that one out if you want to add kits to the game.